All righty, Buster. We better mosey on back to the ship. <clears throat> Whoa. Stop the presses. What? Looks like old Charlie Charming's got a little business to attend to. Can I fight? Hey, give me a quarter. Why? I'm gonna find out my future. Let's have it. What's in store for me, Pop? You have any questions? So, uh, when am I gonna hit the jackpot? You know, uh, all that glitz and glamour. Look at this picture. Tell me, what did you see? Looks like a fish? Your wealth may be from any direction. But when such a wind Wait, what? What does that mean? Hey, what does that mean? What the hell, man? Hey, bud, let me get a go at it. Oh, yeah? You think you got the stuff? Fight? Sure. Let me another quarter? I'm gonna start a tab. I'll give it a whirl. Yeah, looks like I'm the karate master now. Wouldn't you know it? Hey, Chuck, we better get back to the ship. We don't want to get stranded. Come on, man, just let me ask another question. We really need to get back.
Howdy, Charlie. How's your time off? Just get me out of here already. What the hell is going on up there? I heard aircraft and gunfire. Me too. And there was a... a corpse. What? In the sick bay. Something's wrong. Let's get out of here. Charlie, help! in that song. God damn, another stiff? Who's the lucky winner? Last time I saw him in the mess hall, he was fit as a fiddle. Poor fucker. So, uh, is it just me, or are you getting a real strange feeling right now? Do I look like a guy who likes to talk about his feelings? <laughs> you look like a mess on wheels, Chuck. I ain't the only one. Hey, Chuck? You see that kid over there? Uh, no? You feeling all right?
me. <laughs> oh God, no. Charlie! Won't you spare me over till another Hello, and welcome to my repository. Ah. 
I am the curator, the curator of stories, stories of love and hate, greed and beauty, life and death, stories such as this one. I'm here to record the story you choose to tell. You see, this tale is only part written, and the choices you make will complete it and determine whether the lives of those with whom you are interfering continue to flourish or whether they are snuffed out. You see, we each make decisions according to our own moral compass, and we have to live with those decisions or die by them. But you shouldn't fear death. It is, after all, inevitable. It is the tax one pays for having lived, and it comes eventually to everybody. Still, none of us want for it to come too soon, do we? As in life, the actions you take matter. The choices you make will affect others. I'll be keeping a close eye on your progress. It's not my place to interfere, but I might be persuaded to offer the occasional hint. Here's one for free. There are pictures in this world that can show you some possible futures. If you can find them and study them, they may just help you to make better decisions. Or should I say, decisions that result in the outcomes you would prefer. That's all for the moment. We'll talk again soon enough. We'll have the opportunity to account for all the actions that you've taken or whatever mess you've made. Think we got enough? If we run out, we can always call for backup. So, uh, look. I've never been down there before. Down? The water. Diving. Well, maybe you could show me how the pros do it. Are you serious? Uh, yeah. I mean, are you serious you came out here without taking any lessons? Uh, kind of, yeah. I wanted to. I just didn't... I didn't have time, you know? I had to work all summer. Oh, uh, fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> Whoa, careful. That dive cam is, like, super expensive. Well, bro, be cool. What? Julia and Conrad are, you know, how do I say it? Super fucking loaded? So? So don't sweat the little stuff, man. It's not cool. Don't make me regret letting you tag along. Uh, tag along? Seriously? I thought I was invited. Julia wanted you to come along. For real? Julia? Yeah, man. She wanted you to come. And I wanted her to see how cool you are, which you're not. So be cool. Capiche? All right, amigo. Calvary's almost here. Cool. Sorry I'm a little snappy. I'm just... The new medical school would be stressful, you know? Total shocker. And man, the long distance thing with Julia, it's been rough. It's been like... Two weeks. Huh? <laughs> yep. Right on cue. What? Conrad doesn't think we have enough beer. Ah. I guess I keep these in an undisclosed location. Yeah. Hey!
So, uh, can I get your input on something? Yeah, what? Just, uh, kind of a big thing I'm trying to make a decision about. About finishing med school? No, but it's just kind of a big life choice, you know? I don't know what's the right thing to do. Go with your gut. If it's right, you'll know. Hey! Oh, sorry. Connie, this is Alex. Hey, what's up, man? It's Conrad. <laughs> Watch it, sis. Lady killer, right here. <laughs> Good to finally meet you, Conrad. This is Brad, by the way, my little bro. Hey. Bradley! I feel like I already know you. I've heard so much about you. Yeah, uh, likewise. Miss me. Hey, man. Wanna crack a cold one with me? Every second. <laughs> That's a lot of seconds, cowboy. I mean, I would have gone with minutes. Yeah. yeah cool. Yeah. <laughs> Tight. Uh, I, I love beer. Hey, you had much better food. Sorry, bud. That excuse does not hold Right on, Bradical. I like the cut of your ship. It's jib. Don't ruin it. You ever do any diving before? Yeah. Totally. All the time. Nice. I was worried they're gonna stick me with a noob. Oh, uh, nope. Not noob. I can practically breathe underwater at this point. So you uh, dive a lot? A couple, three times, you know, here and there, family trips. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the old crust bucket skipper, anyhow? I'd invite you to make yourselves at home, but, uh... So is everybody on board and ready to go? It, get it all out. Uh, yeah. You uh, want to go lie down? Yeah. You know, maybe I should. Oh boy. Let's see those hot picks. What about over here? That's pretty far out of the way. I'm just thinking about backup targets in case we don't find anything on the dive cam. Listen, to be honest, I've never heard of this wreck you're looking for. Usually these things are crawling with divers. Yeah. This one's different. I'm just saying, if it gets too late, I know some nice places where you can just take, you know, a nice dive. Brad was so sure it would be here. But yeah, I mean, what are the odds we're really gonna find a needle in a haystack? I'm gonna go help Conrad and Julia with the camera. What you got? Feast your eyes on this. Brad's calculations were right on the money. Always bet on Brad. Yeah, kid's a whiz. We should thank him. Bliss, we found a plane. Yeah? Yeah, it looks like World War II. We are ready to dive. Uh. Technically, we should call this in to port authorities as an unreported wreck. Well, technically. Are you sure you don't want to do this the right way? Look, for all anyone knows, we were just diving and then found it. So who cares? 
the right way. Come on, what is this, kindergarten? I had to bring it up. If we just go down and take a look, who's gonna know? Fine, as long as you're quick. And don't touch anything. I just can't wait to be the first one down there. Can you imagine, untouched? We should be ready to get you guys in the water in a few. I'll set up the tanks. The boys will do the final checks. Take a look at the camera, see if you can find anything useful. Righto. Hey, maybe you should check on your bro? Hey, hey. Hey, sweetie. Hmm. I don't think might be a way in. Hi. You know, we have rules out here for a reason. You guys gotta respect that. Fliss, we paid a lot of money for this particular dive, in this particular spot. Every time I take a group of you people out, it's the same thing. No regard for anyone else's customs. These rules are all pretty basic stuff. How much experience do you have with these kind of dives? Enough. That's not an amount. Enough to know the rules. I don't think you do. For all you know, this could be a war grave. Disturbing it would be illegal and immoral. Fine. I get it. How much? How much what? How much money will it take for you to stop breathing down her necks? You... <laughs> this is not about the money. <laughs> you know what? I can't stop you. Just respect the rules down there. Don't do anything stupid that'll get my ass in trouble. You know how to use that? Uh, no, not really. Might want to just let it do its thing. Huh. What am I looking at here? What's up? How you doing? Sorry, that brewski got the better of me. Jeez, man. You should know how to handle your liquor. Lay off. I'm just trying to bond with Conrad, like you said. My guzzling brews? Come on. Okay, okay. You go hit the high seas. I'll be up when I'm good. Almost got the gear good to go. Need an extra hand? Never used a rebreather before. I think we're in good shape. It's probably not a bad idea for you to have a clue how these things work. Gotta say, not too happy with our captain at the moment. Yeah, I know. Let's just play cool for now. Cool? Why? There's no point in antagonizing her. If she tries to keep me from doing this dive one more time, that's it. 
gloves off. That's fair. Just don't force her hand. All right. I'm going to get these rebreathers set up, and then we'll go through the final steps together. Cool. Just holler at us when you're ready. There's a little gap in the tail. Take a look. Hey guys, tanks are ready. Okay, so this is the rebreather. Way cooler than a regular scuba setup. It takes all that CO2 that you'd normally just exhale into the water, and instead, it gets totally reused. Then it reduces decompression time on your way up. State of the art. Okay, O2 check done. Whoa, 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 eager beaver, you gotta check your O2 first. Looking good, Jay. I'd like to take you underwater. Hey, that's my sis you're talking about. You know it. Okay, you little clown fishes. I'm gonna go see what Fliss is up to. You behave, Connie. Looking for a first mate, Captain. You're on camera. I'll take the wheels. Let's get a before photo. All right, kids, good to go. Just remember the rules, please. I got the bang stick. Yeah, I heard that about you. Ha ha. You ever have to use one? On a shark? Nope. This is so tight. She acts like we're going to ransack the plane. Hey, a souvenir would be cool. It's not like one tiny little thing would hurt anybody. I won't tell if you won't. <laughs> not like they can scan the wreck every night at sundown. There. That shape. That's gotta be it. Whoa. That is, like, way bigger than I thought. Damn. It's pretty intact, too. This is a fucking remarkable find. Let's swim around a little and find a way in. Howdy, Captain. You fancy a pint with your second in command? You are not my second in command. Third in command? No. Fresh in your cabin, boy. Still a no. Your well paying, dashingly handsome, seafaring client is requesting the pleasure of your company over a frosty amber liquid. Sure, why not? Pretty nice ride you got here. Where'd you get the cash? You know it's not polite to ask a lady about her money. Fair enough. I was just thinking about buying a boat myself and I thought maybe you'd like to point me in the right direction. Sorry, I've got enough on my plate for the moment. Uh, you know what? I better spend some time keeping the Duke of Milan ship shape. Aye, aye.
Weather looks clear. Duke to Alex. Duke to Julia. How's it going? Knocked out by cold frosty. Man, I feel like such a wimp. Hey, it's your vacation. You're allowed to overdo it. I am officially starting a temperance club. Party of one. Lifetime membership. Hope the lovebirds are having the time of their lives down there. I hope they know what they're doing down there. Attitude matters 20 meters down. Alex plays the goof, but he was pretty serious about acing his diving certification. What other dives have they done? When I got the booking, I thought they were newbies. Alex and Julia have both logged plenty of dives. I'm the real amateur, but I'm ready. Huh. Gotta get back up top. Check you later. Hey there, how's it hanging? You can monitor the dive while I do some boat maintenance. Not a problem, Bob. I'm serious. You can't fuck around with this stuff, Conrad. Do it for real or don't do it. Yeah, totally. I got you. Serious. Rich kids can just up and take a vacation whenever they goddamn please, I guess. Wow, that is not your everyday wreck. I hope those clowns don't get me in trouble. We have unexpected guests. Just relax. Do not mention we have people in the water. Uh, what do you think they want? Or maybe they're fishermen. I mean, maybe that's their buoy. I don't know. Just be on guard.
What's that about? That is not the Coast Guard. So we're not under arrest. Hey, get out of here! What do you think you're doing? We got damage here, you see this? Look at our boat! We can take care of this, man, it's not a problem. What do you think, like, uh, 10 bucks cover it? Oh, whoops, my bad, let's make it 20. Well, shoot, you, you think it's more like 30? I can do 30. All right, you guys drive a hard bargain, but I'm with you, here. Let's just throw in the whole pot. Conrad said one of the pictures showed an opening. Conrad, really? Really. On the rear turret. Huh. Good on you, Connie. The turret. We can get in through there. Dangerous. Uh, ladies first? Can I just take a second to say, holy shit, Alex, we did it. I mean, can you believe it? It's a dream come true. <laughs> Let's not waste any time not exploring. Go, go, go! Julia, leave it. You'd have to take your gear off to get in there. Not worth it. That pipe's pretty tight. What if you get stuck without your rebreather? Don't be such a gonad. I'll be fine. Gonad? Seriously? Am I dead? What's happening? Live a little, Edgelord. something stupid down here? That's it. One chance. You get that? I know what I'm doing, okay? I don't need a lifeguard. They were on their way to help out a ship. down the fuselage. Brad's gonna flip when he sees this. Check it out. 
They reconfigured the bomb rack to hold lifeboats. Interesting. One of the rescue boats is missing. Think they were using it? Let's see what else we can find. Check it out. Pilot and co-pilot. Gotta be. Plane crash not high on my list of ways to perish. Easy now. This stuff's been down here a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Goners. We gotta get out of here now. <gasps> shark? Now there's a shark? Now come at me, shark! It's a gray reef shark. Not interested in us. Let's go. Hold on. Uh, oh, okay. Thought this was the right time, but then didn't know if it was the right time. But I guess no time's the right time. I, I, I don't I guess. Oh. I know you can't tell because we're underwater, but I'm on my knees right now. Uh-huh. Julia, will you marry me? You're shitting me, right? What? <laughs> like there's a hidden camera down here or something? Uh... Okay, come on guys, the gig is up! Julia, I'm serious. Uh, Alex, I... I just... Ugh, it's, it's bad timing, I, I know. It's terrible timing. I, I'm sorry, it, this is so no, stupid, no, stop, I'm sorry. No, please, don't, don't apologize. I, I, I just need time to think about this, like... You know, like when I'm not about to die at the bottom of the ocean? Fliss, this is Julia. We're coming back up. Over. Hey, where'd that other boat come from? Wait. Julia. We gotta decompress here. Whoa! Damn! What the fuck? We gotta get up there. Wait, we have to decompress. Damn it. Yeah, okay. Decompress, right. Oh my god, this is 
taking too long. This is torture. Just a few more seconds. Okay, now. Go, go! Hey, what the hell is going on? What the hell happened? It's cool, man. Everything's all right now. Oh, nothing. Your brother just took it upon himself to blow up my grill. Conrad, what is wrong with you? What was up with that other boat? These fishing guys came by and ran into the dive line. Whatever. Who cares, right? What I want to know is, what'd you guys find? Well, we found the plane. And it is huge. Full of cool stuff. Unfortunately, we did not leave it as pristine as we could have. What? Why? The dive line, actually. How bad? Uh, there's no cockpit anymore, for starters. God. Well, that's just fucking perfect. You're getting to know these intrepid adventurers then. Alex and his little brother Brad, trying to swim with the big fish. Both seem out of their depth. And Julia, the love of Alex's life. <sighs> if only she felt the same. What about Conrad? A bold fellow, you might say. Or maybe you'd say arrogant. And then there's Captain Fliss, strong, Forthright, stubborn. She appears somewhat immune to Conrad's charms, so far at least. Let me reassure you, you help them to make some decisions they'll value later on. You're doing well. How well preserved was the plane? Brad, it was insane. It was like traveling through time. <laughs> no shit. Well, it was like traveling through time and accidentally ending up in a dimension where the past is underwater and everything is covered in barnacles and sharks. Sharks? Yeah, well, just one shark. Ah. Hey, one was enough. Wasn't Conrad gonna get us some more beers after he helped Fliss? Maybe he decided, hey, I'll drink some, and then he got drunk. And since he was drunk, he forgot to bring it to us. And he just kept on drinking, and he drank all of it. Uh, sounds like you've had some experience with this kind of phenomenon. Yeah, I've been studying it for years. I'll go look for him. Oh, we found a bullet lodged in the plane. Huh. I left it below deck if you want to check it out. Can I ask you why you said no? I just thought it was the right thing to do. I don't understand. I, I thought everything was going so well. Maybe that's my fault. Maybe I haven't been as honest as I should have been with you about how I've been feeling. What's wrong with us? I know this can't be easy for you, but I just think maybe we should be honest with each other. I've always been honest with you. What aren't you saying? I'm sorry, I just really don't think this is the right time for us to get married. But... Alex, let's just talk about it when we get home, okay? I really don't want to have this conversation here. I'll go find Brad and everybody. Hey, you seen my brother? Or Fliss? Uh, no, I uh, got distracted. Let's go get him. Sure. So, which one is, uh, you know, where the magic happens? On behalf of my family, I'd like to apologize for my brother acting like a horny fifth grader. Ah, uh, it's okay. I can deal with children. Conrad, beers, where are they? Oh, yeah, the beers. I was just getting them now.
All right, now that everybody's here, let's take a look at the navigator's pad we found. Maybe we can figure out why the plane was out here. Where'd you put it? It's in your case. Okay, I'll go get it. Alex, holy crap. Were you guys, like, in the plane when it broke? Oh, got out in the nick of time. Skin of our teeth. Well, our skin was almost in a shark's teeth. What? Uh, yeah, didn't I tell you there are sharks around here? Uh, no. Most of them aren't dangerous. Oh, yeah, the, the friendly sharks. How do you think the day went? Other than our little tight 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 with the locals, pretty good. People always say they have dive experience, but Alex and Julia seem to actually know what they're doing. So, we're going again tomorrow? Uh, yeah. It seemed a little too dangerous for my blood. Relax, Brad. How many times do I have to tell you not to be such a wuss? Uh, I'm gonna go find Julia. Hey, almost time for barbecuing. Got the pad yet? Oh, no, not yet. I got distracted. Got it. Let's go up. Wait, can we talk about what just happened? Later, Alex, okay? Right here. <laughs> You'll get no resistance there. All right, everyone, check it out. Manchurian gold. Who wants to find some sunken treasure? So what do you think, Captain? Coordinates? Those are coordinates, all right. Maybe the plane's destination? You think we could get there by tomorrow? It takes a couple hours if the weather stays steady. Wow. You find anything else? There was a flight plan on board that seemed to indicate it was a rescue plane. Yeah, that makes sense. After the war, they turned long-range bombers into rescue planes. And then this plane must have been shot down because it was riddled with bullet holes. I found one lodged in the fuselage. Huh. And it was full of life rafts. Must have gotten shot down before they could deliver all the rafts. There was only one missing. Reckless, all of you. Excuse me? I told you to leave everything down there alone. Oh, come on. We've been through this already. I'm not talking about the law. No, hey, they were respectful. No, you did whatever you wanted. Whatever you took, it was too much. Oh, come on. No one knows we've even been down there. And I don't think ghosts can talk. You Americans are all the same, huh? No respect for anyone else's traditions. Should have never gone down to that plane in the first place. It's bad luck. You think you can scavenge down there and it makes no difference, but every single thing you bring back has an essence. It's like a ghost you invite to the surface. Here we go. Huh. I never thought about it like that. You never think about much of anything. Well, maybe I never heard about such cool ghost stories. They're not cool ghost stories. Not like for fun. People drown in these waters, and you have to respect their resting place. Damn straight. Brad, you got a fun ghost story, right? Y yeah, I heard a story. It happened right around here, too. Let's hear it. We could all use a good show. Let's hear it. I bet you can spin a good yarn. It's kind of messed up, actually. Scare away, little bro. OK, here goes. This story is true. It had happened right near here, in an old lighthouse. Classic setup. Wait, true story? Where'd you hear this? If you need to know, it's ripped right from the rotting pages of the terrifying ancient in-flight magazine I was perusing on our way here. The lighthouse stood atop an atoll, isolated from the rest of the world, a lone beacon in the night, a sailor's respite. The lighthouse keeper would hear the waves pounding the rocky shore. One misty morning, he comes upon a woman, covered in blood. She's stumbling down the beach. He hurries to her aid, and she falls into his arms, sobbing. As he hurries her back to the lighthouse, he asks where she's from. He doesn't waste any time. Smooth. Shh. The woman answers, I live here, in the lighthouse. My parents are upstairs right now. Twist. Of course, the lighthouse keeper says, that isn't so. Of course, he's lived there alone for years. And the woman becomes hysterical, and his sister parents are upstairs. So they go to the top of the lighthouse, and there, 
Splayed out on the floor is a man and a woman brutally murdered with an axe. Always an axe? I mean, do people even use axes anymore? Okay, fine. Then it was a meat hook. They were slashed with a meat hook and hung from the rafters. Wait a minute, are you changing the murder weapon? I thought this was a true story. There's a lot of blood, a lot of carnage. Who's to say how it was done? Okay, so who did it? So the woman, uh, she's still hysterical, says her husband did it. And he's still here, in the closet. Yeah, marriage is a bitch, huh? So the lighthouse keeper creeps over to the closet, opens the door, and sure enough, there's a man inside, but he sliced out his own insides with a meat hook. Horrified, he looks closer to see the dead man's face in the dark. Closer, closer. And he sees it's his own face. And then its eyes bulge out and screams. <laughs> Yuck, it's so gross. Oh, hey, oh, super twist. Nice. <laughs> nice one, Squire. Oh, come on, that wasn't scary. Heavy on the cheese there, corn dog. Okay, you've all had your fun. We should all turn in, there's some weather hitting our way. Uh-uh, no, 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 because according to standard vessel regulation, we're all required. One more beer before hitting the hay. What regulations are these? <laughs> uh, it's standard issue, regulatory institutional protocol, subdivision 1099. Uh-huh, <laughs> where'd you read that? The internet. Oh, so you found a website that tells you to drink beer under every circumstance. I'm just following orders, ma'am. <laughs> I'm into this website. 10-4, <laughs> good buddy. And I'm out. So
Jeffrey. Hey, so, uh, good news, bad news. Bad news? I don't see how this could get any worse. The bad news is these are kind of... Maybe the fisherman I pissed off earlier. Oh, God damn it, Conrad. Great, just great. And the good news? Uh, I recognize them. How is that good news? I thought you were going to ask the good news first. You're such an idiot, Jesus. Hey. Alex, what are they going to do to us? I don't even want to know. I want to get out of here. I'm in a lot of danger. Yeah. <sighs> Back for you later. Conrad! Nobody knows you're out here, little lady. You're all alone with us now. Let's make the most of it. You can go fuck yourself, you piece of shit. You're the little lady. treat a lady right. Jesus, Conrad. Seems to be getting buddy buddy with him. Uh, did you see my brother? Yeah. He's hiding. He's okay. All right. Turn around. Don't let them see your hands. Once we get Julia back, maybe we could take them by surprise. Okay. They're coming. Julia, 
Tell me what happened. They asked about our parents. What? How much money they have. Just have to wait and see what they want to do with us. got a gun. Well, at least one of us can get on their boat. Get some help. If you can distract them, I can get on that boat. The dude with the gun won't even realize until I'm long gone. Seven seconds. I can get out through the window. We gotta break these off first. Too loud. They'll hear it. But we're gonna break them during the thunder. <sighs> Good call. I'll go through the window and get the boat. You guys, distract them. Conrad, just stay focused and get to the boat. Okay, let's do it. Sit down. Over there. You, right here. Sit. Now. Arrêtez, bon de con! C'est mon bateau! Stop! Ferme-la, ou je te mets mon poing dans la gueule! Olsen! Come here! Which one of you is gonna tell me about this... Manchurian goo? when you had the chance. Yeah, I get it. All right, shut the fuck up! There is no harm in just talking. You wanna talk? 
keep the volume down. I'm just gonna say it. Fliss has gotta be in on this. She and these guys, they travel in the same waters. She's the captain and they barely laid a hand on her? I bet you told them about the Manchurian gold. They're in cahoots. Are you out of your mind? How did you come up with this bullshit? How fucking dare you, you overprivileged asshole? You're all in this together. This was a trap, and you set us there up! Yeah, asshole! What a cork in it! <sighs> Sit still, all of you. You, come with me. Find out how long the storm is gonna last. Will you try anything? Anything fishy. And there'll be consequences. Get it. Duke of Milan requesting weather update. Over. Do we read you? Everything okay? Over. After number one, real smooth. Great leadership, Fliss. What happened? Anyone know about Brad? Is he hiding somewhere? Brad is under the bunk bed. We can't leave him down there. He could drown. We need to get him out of there. He's not safe. Brad, buddy, come out! Move! Everyone's still alive. Things could have been quite different. Hmm. 
Kind-hearted creature I am, I'd like to offer you some forewarning of what's to come. Tempted? You're going it alone. Independent. Admirable. Possibly foolish. We'll learn soon enough. Anyway, now that you've reached a point of significant distress, I presume you're eager to get back to your story. But here's a thing. Everything may not be entirely as it seems. <sighs> Probably shouldn't have said that. Floating death trap. Hey, hey. Keep moving. a trip to creep down. Something about this place is making my hair stick up so far it's gonna jump out of my neck.
Watson, il y a une porte ici. OK. All of you. Into the room. fucking place given our observations that this is some sort of ship and seems to be abandoned I'm gonna go out on a limb and say it's some sort of abandoned ship no shit Sherlock you gonna write a book about it give him a break Fliss he needs one we can't just sit around we need a plan yeah we're not exactly in the best position to be making any moves Second they let their guard down, we gotta take advantage of it and get off the ship. Yeah, man. This whole rust bucket's one tetanus shot from the bottom of the ocean. We already tried to escape. Didn't exactly work out. They swiped our distributor cap. Gonna be difficult to get anywhere without it. So can't we just, like, hotwire it or something? No. You can't hotwire it. We need the distributor cap. While those guys are out panning for Manchurian gold or whatever they think they're gonna find on this floating coffin, we gotta take advantage and look around for a way out of here. Fliss, I just wanted to say that um, I might have gotten things kind of wrong back there. Uh, excuse me? I may have kind of prematurely come to the conclusion that maybe, you know, you're working some kind of side deal with these guys or whatever. But I, I mean, obviously that's not true. They're being just as bad to you as they are to us, so, yeah. Allow me to translate. He's saying that he's sorry. Well, I... Hmm. Well, your apology is kinda accepted. Cool. Cool. was. I wonder why this was ripped off. Qu'est-ce que 
du papier Rien. Trop du cul. Arrêtez, arrêtez ça. Ta gueule, Junior. Tu restes ici et tu surveilles les prisonniers. Les prisonniers On est en prison Charmant. On sera bientôt riche si vous la fermez. Et si vous faites ce que je vous dis de faire Il y a quelque chose qui cloche ici. Je sais pas, c'est... Cet endroit est bizarre. Olson, on devait seulement les voler. Et là, on se retrouve coincé sur ce ratio de merde qui pue la mort. Et on a des prisonniers Ça va trop loin, tout ça. Vos gueules Fermez-la tous les deux. Je suis votre capitaine. Et je vous ordonne d'obéir à mes ordres. Get it open. Hey, come here. If we can bust it open, freedom. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We don't know where a vent like this would go. I think we just gotta find out. You want me to just smash through this wall? No, I got this. Someone should create a distraction. This is gonna be loud. Wait, wait! Maybe we should try barricading the door instead. There's gotta be some stairs around here.
just want to know where the hell they all went. There should have been dozens of people on board. Hundreds. How could they all just vanish? And leave all of their stuff behind? Something doesn't add up. Where's the you are here arrow? You hear that? If by that you mean the terrifying sound, then no, I didn't hear anything. You know you. This place is fucking massive.
Yeah. There's someone down there already. Shh. Everyone quiet. Arrête de crier, j'essaie d'entendre ce qui se passe. Je crie pas Ta gueule. Je veux savoir où sont les autres.
Not funny. been here before. Uh, I don't think so. Uh, I swear we've been here before, Alex. Have you been leading us in circles? Come on, guys. We gotta keep moving. Hey! According to this, today is beef casserole. Mm, yummy. It's as if everything just ground to a halt on this one day. The whole ship just stopped functioning. Yourself. Ugh. Soup du jour, mademoiselle? As if you know your way around a kitchen. Well, you know, if we were gonna get married, I might have shared some of my culinary skills with you, but... Just stop. All right, what is this place? I'm thinking we gotta go through here. What was that? I didn't hear anything. Ah, uh, maybe you should get your ears examined, bud. I know I saw something. It was moving in the shadows. Rats. Probably just rats. That's all it was. Don't fucking laugh at me! All right, we've been here before. I'm sure of it. We're going around in circles. Well, what do you want to do? Turn around? 
We've seen all this before. Cool it, Jay. We don't have a lot of options. It's gotta be this way. Okay, no. This isn't working for me. What? Gross caskets and crappy chapels. Not my scene, you know? There's no such thing as ghosts. Oh, ghosts? There, there are ghosts now? Well, no. There's no such thing as... Well, you know that, and I know that. But do the ghosts know that? Okay, listen. Sure, it's freaky, and it's disgusting, and it's a little depraved, but they are just a bunch of dead bodies, and I'm sure they are going to stay dead. What is this? Hey, we got a name on this guy. And what are they even doing here? I don't think stuck on a ghost ship for all eternity sounds like a good plan, eh? Who cares where they're from or where they're going? They're dead and we're not, so let's keep it that way. Human? What is the deal with this place? That is some bad mojo, dude. Okay, leave. Now! Leave, leave, leave! Got some serious locks in these caskets. Why would they be chained and locked? Well, that's one way to end a relationship. Look at this one. Like for a kid or something. I don't want to know. Let's get out of here. Yes! Maybe that's little baby Dracula. Right there. And those are his parents, and they're lying in the dirt from their native country. And, and... then they all jump on Conrad and eat off his face. <laughs> the end. What's the matter? Shh. What is it? Look! What? Seriously? Are you trying to freak me out? Huh? Can we just get out of here? Please hurry. I'm done sightseeing. Roger that. We gotta get to this. No time to lose. <gasps> what the hell is making that sound? Uh, what sound? Oh. Why so spick and span? There's no time to be fucking around. I'm serious. I can't take it. Oh, what the fuck? Don't touch it! Why did you touch it? Get him some air. Conrad! What the hell? Looks like he died of fright. You can't see that. Okay, so 
this guy had appendicitis, which is pretty routine, and then, then he died of a massive heart attack, which is not routine at all. Hashtag nope, nope. Connie? Connie! Connie, where the fuck are you? Where is Conrad? He must have gone on ahead. Connie? Hey, Conrad! Where the hell did he go? that alone. You don't even know what you're doing. You just do whatever he tells you, don't you? Fucking place is cursed. Look at this. I don't want to hear anything from you. Yoko stays on the ship. Come on. You have no idea what you're talking about. Huh. Where did all your friends go? 
I don't know what the fuck this is all about, but we gotta keep moving and find Olsen. Now. Olsen? Merde. Qu'est-ce que tu fais? I'm sorry, I'm, 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 so, I'm sorry. Okay, first of all, how did you get past him? <laughs> Wait, how did you get here at all? I was trying to catch up to you, you know, save you or whatever. But then I heard some crazy shit and had to hide in the corner. I just want to get out of this hellhole and up to fresh air. Can't be a good sign. What was that?
place is a goddamn labyrinth. Great. All these hallways look exactly alike. Hey. Fliss, hey! Where were you? Absolutely sure. Shut up and keep moving. Just keep on moving.
Who's that? Who's there? Get away! Alex? Julia? On here. this. This place is not right. What is going on here?
this. Keep your head on straight.
Come on. could have drowned. We gotta get away. He's still around. That, that guy. Fuck! me with the whole pirate adventure thing and I gotta say it was a good idea no it was I mean it's funny I think it's funny but I think the guys you hired are taking it a little too far maybe and don't be cheap I mean you didn't feel like paying top dollar and that's what you get you get these guys that are not the cream of the crop they're taking it a little too far you know you get my drift so if you want to feel free to pull the old plug get rid of these guys I'm with you I mean these guys are fucking crazy they're chasing us around the ship <sighs> everybody whatever this is it's just it's just fucking with me okay <laughs>
probably not much of a practice when you preach kind of guy. Yeah, I should really take a look behind this door, shouldn't I? Should. But should I? <laughs> yeah, I should. <clears throat> well, all right. So how do I pry this son of a bitch off? I gotta find something to pry the door open. Got some half at least. Enough for the door.
What does this mean? Does this mean we're over? It's me, come on, let's go. Jesus! We gotta get somewhere safe. I think, yeah, I think we'll be all right here. Oh, hello. Things appear to have taken a turn towards the spiritual, wouldn't you say? Now you're one down. And what about Conrad? He, or rather you, should have been a bit less careless. Have you figured out what's going on? How to stop it? How to save the lives of your poor, unfortunate stowaways? You will, I hope. Although it seems the ship's previous occupants never managed to. Quite a lot of deaths that night. Let me help you out, give you a little hint. No hint? Perhaps you think you can piece things together from the clues you found yourself. Good luck with that. Perhaps you've started to realize something. That everything and everyone may not be quite what they appear to be. I hope that helps. Well, aren't you excited to find out what your poor unfortunates are making of all this and how you might avoid any more unnecessary tragedy? Go on, back to it. Speak soon. This ship must be cursed. It's the only way we can explain all this evil shit that's happening down there. Let's just stay calm and relatively sane about this, okay? Wait, where's Conrad? Has anyone seen him? We got split up. I saw him. I, I mean, Fliss and I both did, uh, right? <clears throat> I saw Conrad. I saw him fall. He fell? Where is, is he okay? Did someone help him? I'm sorry, Julia. Oh, shit, Conrad. You fucking asshole. Oh, you idiot. He fell? Down some stairs on his face? What? It was a big fucking fall, okay? Like, too big. No. No, 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 no! Okay, we're going back right now and we're gonna find my brother. Julia! He could be dying right now, we have to! We will. Just not yet. What the hell was wrong with you back there? What? Brad, you lost your shit, like, big time. You almost killed me. What? What are you talking? Come on, no, no come on, that's ridiculous. Well, what the fuck is going on with this ship? Because, I gotta be honest, it feels like there's some, like, 
like, evil, like, literal evil going on down there. Let's just stay calm and relatively sane about this, okay? The stuff I saw, it's like there were these old soldiers, they were bodies, they were dead, but then they came alive and- That doesn't sound that crazy right about now. Alex wasn't the only Alex. What are you talking about? There were things walking around with his face on them. Alex's face, it, it was horrifying. Julia, I'd never hurt you. You know that, right? No, I know, it's just... This can't all be happening. Maybe like one thing could, but not all of these crazy things. It's too much of a coincidence. There's gotta be something going on here. What can we absolutely be sure about? What do we know that's real? Did you see the gold? Anything? Manchurian gold isn't actually gold. It's a fucking chemical and it's leaking all over cargo hold too. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this isn't exactly what our friendly fishermen are expecting either. <sighs> this should go over well. What do you think actually happened to this place? Wish I knew. <laughs> Am I crazy or are we on a ghost ship? I guess that's one way to look at it. This whole place reeks of weird. Dirty, stinky, weird. And I don't like it. It's like this place is stuck in a perpetual bad feeling machine. We know more than we did before. That's something at least. We're wasting time. Whatever we do, we have to do it now. Time to get off this ship. We're not going anywhere without the distributor cap. The Duke needs it to run. Hold on. The ship's gotta have a radio. If we can find it and use it... That's great, but do you think it still works? Just need to find a way up there. We gotta get off this damn ship. <laughs> no shit. I think we're, uh, speaking clinically, totally effed. I know it sounds crazy, but maybe it was these guns that took down the plane from our dive. Great. Could have used these if they weren't Swiss cheese. Find a way up. Sadly, no, but I'll keep my eyes open. Hey, a little help over here. I think this is our way up. Give me a lift. Pull you up. This is... 
This is where I chased Conrad before. Over here. Got a way through here. Find a radio yet? No, but there's got to be a radio on this ship. There, there has to be. Something's wrong here. If you were headed to San Francisco, you'd be crazy to take this route. It's almost like they didn't want anyone to know they were coming. Like hide and seek out in the ocean. was blown off course, cloud cover was bad. They couldn't establish a position. Take a look. No freaking way. This thing actually still works? Well, radio science hasn't changed much in 70 years, as long as there's power. I'll give it a whirl. Ah! It's working! It's a number station. Military bandit. Let's ask him for help. Hey! Hey! Is anyone out there hearing this? Hello? Over. Holy shit! We got him! Uh... If you can hear us, we're on a ship, an old freighter. Our coordinates are approximately, uh, 12 degrees, 30 minutes south, 151 degrees, 20 minutes west. Please, get here now. We need help. This has got to lead somewhere. Maybe we can find a way to get the power back. We need to get that radio working. I think someone should wait here in case a message comes through. I'll go, obviously. I can do this. I should be the one to go. Are you kidding me? You? Come on. <laughs> Sounds like you're scared of someone stepping out of your shadow. Scared of my idiot brother getting himself killed? How about showing me some brotherly love? Hey, if you're sure you're up for it, I believe you got it, bro. I'm coming too. Hey, what? Julia, no. You're not my bodyguard. I can take care of myself. I'm still the captain of something, and the captain's telling you that I'm going to. All right, Fliss. Ready?
still alive? Everyone okay? Hey, keep it down up there. What are we gonna do? I'm gonna find the generator so we can power the radio. We'll wait here by the radio. Hey. This way. Guessing these are the lower levels of the ship. So, how's school going? Good. Why are you asking me about school? No, I didn't really go to school, so... You seem pretty sharp to me. Thanks. Here, come check this out. Look, down there. Looks like the engine room. It's got to be where the generator is. You're right. Let's go down there. Ah. The ladder's broken off here. I think I can just... Hey! Ah. Are you okay? Yeah, uh, mm. All good. Just come down. <gasps> oh, God. What? That, it, 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 it was... Wait, wait, didn't you see it? See what? Okay, so, I, so I'm seeing things, but you're not. Okay, so follow my thinking here. We know this ship is carrying Manchurian gold which was actually some kind of dangerous chemical, right? And there's this, like, weird fog everywhere. Maybe that's the Manchurian gold. And maybe it's fucking us all up, like in the head, you know? This is kind of making sense. None of it happened. None of it was real. It was just a hallucination. We knew the crew was scared of something, and that could be it. Yeah. Could this have anything to do with the wrecked plane from the dive? I mean, maybe there was a connection? Maybe they made contact? It's a theory, I guess. Wow. Okay, let's keep going. This. this ship was actually anchored. I wonder why. What do you think these guys are all about? Position? Yeah. Oh, money. I feel like they're just in over their heads or something.
Look at this. The rebreather. The fisherman must have brought it over from the Duke of Milan. You think it still works? Looks like it's got a little juice left. Maybe a couple of minutes? Should we bring it with us? I mean, it's heavy. Mm, no, forget it. It's too heavy to drag along with us. Are you crazy? Half the ship is submerged. It could be a lifesaver. No. Je t'en prie. No. Je t'ai dit de la fermer, sale menteur. Ferme ta gueule de merde. Tu dis n'importe quoi. Tout ce que tu racontes, c'est des conneries. Alors, ferme ta sale gueule de merde. Écoute. Écoute-moi. Fais pas ça ah Je t'avais dit de fermer ta gueule No use hiding, you little foot. What's the problem with sharing all that gold, eh? There must be plenty of that to go around, more than enough. And we're all in this together, right? Trying to cut me out of the deed? No. You can't have all the gold. And I'm to be left here to die. But I am the captain! I am in control! And I am the one that says who goes! And who stays! Ah. He's going to be on us soon! You have any ideas? This guy's like crazy unpredictable! We better get the hell away from him right freaking now! Move! Now! Let's get a hold. 
definitely. Uh, probably. Sure. I, I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Okay. None of you move. None of you go all changing on me now. Turn around. Slow. Real slow. Oh. Okay. All right. Not changing. None of that. Raise your hands up. Slow. No, no. Not like that. I said, no changing. Oh, 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 listen. Listen to me. We have no fight with you. We all just want to get out of here safely. You understand? I'm sorry, but if you're breathing, then you don't got much of a choice in the matter. You don't got a say. Not again! It's all gone changing on me! What? What's changing? Stay away! Stay back from the mist! Dude, what mist? Don't breathe it! Don't breathe the mist! Why can't we breathe the mist? What does it do? It's... life! Bringing things to life that shouldn't be alive. It's inside now. Inside with us now. You need to slow down. Stop! Stop! It's in one of us, isn't it? Put the gun down now. Why would you say that? Why are you telling me what to do? Yeah, you breathed in the mist. It's happening. I can feel it. Okay, all, all right, look, I, there was, you know, something back there. Uh, maybe a mist or a fog, maybe? I knew it. I told you. Did you breathe it in? No, look, we held our breath. We did not breathe any of that stuff. <laughs> oh, really? I know you're all fancy divers, but you expect me to buy that? We've been down here for hours. You've been holding your breath this whole time. You're holding your breath right now. Stop! Just hold on. We have a, a rebreather from my boat. What? Yes, we've been using it to, to get the mist out of us. You understand? We could use it on you too. No, 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 no. You keep that thing away from me. Oh, God. It's in me. I got the mist in me, don't I? It's in me, isn't it? Uh, uh, I can feel it swirling around in there. It's changing me. On the inside. No, no. I, 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 I can't see it. You're all right, man. There's no mist. Stop. Stop lying! You can all see it in me, can't you? You're all just lying! The mist is inside! <laughs> hey man, come on, just put the... Oh, oh dear God. by the radio. Why? I'm gonna go check the next level and see if I can find any more gear. Alex, please don't leave. I'm not gonna be long. Just wait by the radio.
saw the, the, the big guy. He had the distributor cap. We gotta go after him. This must have been what we just heard. Whoa. What was that? Doesn't matter. We need that distributor cap. Here! He had to have come this way. I'll find a way around. Look at that. Sometimes you just get lucky.
The Duke's not going anywhere without a distributor cap, so neither are we. Best I can figure it. We got a couple days. Maybe more if we can collect some rainwater. I always kind of knew I would die on a boat. But not this shitty boat. understand really I mean just how crazy it got down there I mean just how fucking out of control well, Conrad was running from something he was really scared like terrified I, I, I don't know why I couldn't see what he was seeing at I should have been there when she died. Maybe I could have done something. Maybe it could have been me. God knows it should have been. I mean, there were things down there that, you know, they shouldn't have been alive, you know? The kind of things that can make you go insane. And he fell. Or he, or he jumped. I don't know why, but I, th I think he was running away from me. She was something else, you know. We had our moments, but <laughs> she was special. She was the one. That's it, game over. You're done, for now at least. You could always try again, see if you can't do better next time around. Not a bad effort, some lived, some died. All your fault. And the distributor cap? Boom. Unfortunate. It's all about decisions, isn't it? Decisions made in a hurry, in a panic, made with the heart instead of the head, or vice versa. 
Sometimes those decisions take a long time to have repercussions. But there are repercussions. There are always repercussions. Till we meet again, maybe in Little Hope, maybe somewhere else. But be certain, we will meet again. It's inevitable. Won't you spare me over till another year? 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 Oh, death. Oh, death. Won't you spare me over till another year? Well, what is this that I can't see with ice cold hands digging hold of me? Well, I am deaf, none can excel. I open the door to heaven or hell. Everybody's looking, trying to find a way out. See them seeing every day what this world's all about. You're realizing that it's hard, you're trying to pick the right path. There's poor people, poor streets inside the neighborhood mass. Bearing scars of the past, they keep trying to escape. Destiny within their eyes, these are the tears of our fate. All these numbers of our lives that we keep trying to equate. They got us living every day, we're in search of that gate. Pray. Oh, death. Oh, death. Won't you spare me over to the night? Someone would pray once you come and call me another day. The children prayed, the preacher preached. Time and mercy is out of your reach. Lo and behold, the pale horse and the rider who decides the fate of one who made a failed choice. With a tail off behind it, the trails off in the fire that sparked those who don't know they're stuck on a stale course. Yeah, we all face death when it comes to take your breath. Usually without knowing how many days are left Some raise their chest, others cower when it comes Whether you're living in the towers or down in the slums Oh, death, oh, oh, death Won't you spare me over till another year Well, I'll fix your feet till you can't walk I'll lock your door till you can't talk I'll close your eyes till you can't see This very hour come and go Heaven's coming, praying it doesn't come late. This is for real, man. It's how I push through my pain. When ass is always falling in death's rain, it's cold outside. Death look me in my eyes. Hold through these plans, man. We gotta be wise. Hold through together. It's then they will rise. I'm saying peace for all my people that can see through the lies. And can that la la Brisa running up her thighs while she's singing? Oh, okay. Take a moment to reflect on Think of all the things in your life that you slept on Or slip through your fingers like Teflon Cause you lost your focus steady Think about the next dawn Saying that the next dawn you'd make things better But you didn't get a chance to make your reparations Better make some preparations But if you're not ready yet Death comes for all of us, my friends So you better get
man. 